Hello gamers. I will admit after seeing screenshots of yesterday's stream, it does look like it's 2007. So I went into the, the settings menu on my camera for the first time. I turned off auto white balance and then I balanced it to what I think it's supposed to look like. But I think I made myself too pink. Can I get a, uh, can I get a, a pink check on this one? Or is this normal? He's red now. You're too red. You do look a little pink. Did you get sunburned? I'm not sunburned. I'm, I'm a little tanned. You look too red. Okay, give me, give me a second here. Because it's got, I got to go back around to the other side of the camera. That being said, those of you who were complaining about the echo, I was very self-conscious of the echo. I watched back a little of yesterday's streams. Your babies. Sorry. Sorry, your babies. It sounds almost exactly the same. The problem is, to get less red, you have to get more green. And the more green you get, the more 2007 it looks. This seems better. A, at least a little bit better. This is good. So I do think that that's what is happening is... I wish this wasn't the case, but with auto white balance on, it normalizes the white balance right here because this is like the, the brightest spot in the, in the frame. So then it goes, holy cow, for that to appear like normal is going to mean we have to blow out the whole thing. I don't know. I don't know anything about lighting. I don't know why I was pretending that I did, but <laughs> I did see the image and the, the, the image did look like a, a video from 2007, okay? Can we have an angle that doesn't make you look like a subject in an experiment? It's literally just the camera. I don't know, what, I don't know what's up with that. Hang on. I think like... Maybe? Like I could... Hi, Ruka. I could push this down. That doesn't, that's going to hurt my neck, but just give me a second. Hi, Ruka. The thing that's crazy is that in like a month, people will be like, I watched an old NL video and his old setup looks weird to me now and I can't go back. Now, two things. One, this internet jack doesn't work. I got a, a Cat 6 cable plugged into it. The internet jack in my office doesn't work. The internet jack in my wife's office doesn't work. We have someone coming to look at it next week. What I did is I moved a Wi-Fi extender right next to my computer, and it gave me slight... Improvement. It actually gave me like 10x improvement. I was trying to upload a Super Auto Pets video on the modem. It looked like it was going to take 50 minutes. Then I plugged in the extender right next to my computer. And it took three minutes. Which is definitely better than like expected. But you can plug your Ethernet cable into the extender. Wait a minute. Hang on. That's still Wi-Fi? Yeah, but it's only one Wi-Fi, right? Like it goes Wi-Fi from the modem to the extender, and then it goes wired from the extender into the computer. Let me take a look. Oh, it got me on the wire connection, boys. <laughs> Hang on. Previous speed test had me at 30 up on Wi-Fi. Now I'm streaming, so th this will probably cause me to drop some frames, but let's, let's test it. Oh, 60 up, oh baby. <laughs> oh yeah. All right, I mean, that's not, um, it's not as much as I would like, but it's twice as much as I deserve. 
It's not, I mean, 30 is totally fine, but at the same time, like, I just, what I want is more reliability. I want less packet loss. What's your plan like that you're getting 30 up on Wi-Fi? I pay for Shaw's most expensive plan and I get 10 up on Wi-Fi. Uh, I don't get an opportunity to do this very much as a streamer who is beset by technical issues. Let me just say, um, skill difference. Wow, oh, little bro is, little bro pays for the most expensive package, but he doesn't even get 30 up. Ooh. Oh, little bro's got a, a microwave somewhere between his modem and his PC. He didn't know, he didn't see the Linus Tech Tips video that you have to put your microwave behind your modem in order to boost the signal. I don't know, it's just pure luck, basically, is what I'm trying to say. Are you renting a router or buying your own? I don't, listen, I don't... At some point, you gotta interface with the real world, okay? I do whatever the ISP had us do. I'm pretty sure they had us buy a modem. That's my expectation. I don't think it's built, which is obviously better. So obviously I would assume that we did the better one. I'm just saying, I don't think it's built into our monthly cost to pay for the modem. Pretty sure they just give it to you. I don't know, here's the thing, it doesn't really matter too much. It's not really a big deal. Not going out here, you know, optimizing every single thing. Oh, the new season of Blue Planet doesn't come out on Netflix for like another three weeks. So I'm going to temporarily cancel 4K Netflix and go back down to 720p Netflix. And then, oh, uh, Dinosaur World 2 came out. It's got 4K 90 FPS. I'm going to pay for premium Netflix for eight minutes and then I'm going to buffer the shit into the cache and then I'm going to go back down to standard Netflix. I just... Like, you can optimize your life as much as you want. You're still going to die someday. Probably. Most of us. Not that dude, though. Um, not that uh, the, the tech bro. Did you see the one who keeps hot swapping blood with his kid? He takes uh, 93 pills per day. He's a 47-year-old man. He looks 46. And he's obsessed with de-aging himself. Brian Johnson. Why did that sound like, ooh, Brian Johnson. Brown, 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 brown. Ooh, 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 Brian Johnson. What do you think is more likely? Dan solving a Rubik's Cube or 700 monkeys typing out the entirety of Macbeth? Certainly, um... Dan solving a Rubik's Cube with the help of his chat. But the Rubik's Cube is so interesting because unless you are a genius, I don't think it's realistic that you could just solve a Rubik's Cube without help. I know people did it in the 80s, but they had less options back then. The flip side is if you look up how to solve a Rubik's Cube, then it's not even, it's trivial. All you do is follow the steps. So Dan trying to do it himself with just his chat, I think is hilarious because it's maybe like the only happy medium between the two. He's getting advice that's probably bad and like out of sync, but at least it's pushing him in the right direction. Slash marker baseball. Yeah, we're playing more baseball. NL, your lighting. NL, the echo. Uh, your brain? Fix your brain. You should look. Fix your eyes first. Put on some sunglasses. Turn off flux. Turn on flux. I don't care. Noise canceling headphones. Run me through like a software equalizer or something on your own end. You got overhead lighting. It's true. I got overhead lighting. Honestly, I have no idea like how it is good, I, I think it's probably bad for lighting. My, ki my controller's not working. Oh, no, 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 wait, I'm just not in the window. It's probably bad for lighting um, for like Zoom meetings, which is essentially what we're doing right now. But it really makes the abs pop after I finish my, my workout in the morning. Like that, that lighting is crazy. It's got me feeling like a Marvel superhero. Okay, good eye, kid, good eye, kid. <laughs> I'll throw you a damn meatball. You want a meatball? Here's your meatball. There you go. Why did every kid have a different idea of what the bases meant in a relationship as a, when you were younger? Is that, I, I don't know if it's every kid. I feel like definitely like every um, 
area code had like its own perception. I also think it, it certainly changes as you age, which is embarrassing because like you shouldn't be using the basis as a metaphor forever. Like especially into adulthood, but anyway. I would say, you know, in high school, not that it, not that it was too relevant for me, but um, I would say that first base was kissing. Wait, no, is that? Hang on a second. Home run is definitely full-blown, you know, water course. First base is kissing. <laughs> Second base. But okay, so I feel like third base. Okay, first base is kissing. Second base is over the shirt grabbing. Third base is mouth stuff and fourth maybe second is hand stuff third is mouth stuff i don't know i don't i don't want to know what an inside the park home run is that's the that's the important part <laughs> give him a dirt ball hang on hang on hang on i gotta i gotta pause i got someone at the door I'll be right back. How much time do I have? I'm sorry. I'll be right back. Level with me. How close was I? Not even. How long has the game been over? Three minutes? <laughs> Son of a bitch. <laughs> what happened? No disrespect. It's honestly none of your business. Well, I'll say one thing. Next time the door gets a, a doorbell during working hours, they can leave a note. I thought it was going to be like, you know, 15 seconds, Amazon package drop off. All of a sudden you're, okay, 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 yeah, yeah, okay, yeah, yeah, whoa, really? That's a long time. Whoa, okay, yeah. Whoa, really crazy. No, no thanks. No, I'm okay. No, that's all right. No, I understand. Yeah, no, I know. You do it on Wednesday yet? 9.45 a.m. <laughs> I'm 34. So are you converted? Yes, I'm in uh, the Jehovah's Witnesses now. Excuse me, sorry for the burp. Yes, honey? Yeah, mommy's coming back. Don't worry. <laughs> Mom's gone. No, I can't sing that. She'll be confused. It's a great pitch. I should have gone power swing. Dad, what are you gonna do? Oh, that was my hit. Honey, just stay in the high chair, okay? Mommy's coming back, I promise. Oh! Oh! Okay, power swings. Recenter yourself. That's my... Oh, that's probably a curve in the dirt, huh? Don't make me forfeit this one, please. I'm begging you. Don't make me forfeit this one, too. Okay, I think I gotta go handle that. <laughs> I'll be right back. <laughs> throw balls, throw balls. Throw, wait. Greatest player of all time? <sighs> Thank you. Thank you to my, I'm being stream sniped. Thank you. Here you go, you can take a double play as a result. Oh. oh, thank you, thank you to my opponent. Good game opponent. Was she okay? She was totally fine. She just thought she wasn't okay. She's got lungs, you're telling me? She uh, went to bed at 11, woke up uh, 
looking like the the Limmy image, you know the one. She was crying, I went into her room. I said, uh, what's wrong? She wouldn't answer me, she was uh, hysterical. She calmed down after like five minutes of, of rubbing her back. Went back to bed, 10 minutes later, woke up to the same hysterical crying. Went back in, rubbed her back, she went to bed after 10 minutes. I went back to bed, woke up after 10 minutes, same hysterical crying. Woke up looking like the Limmy image. <clears throat> she was okay though. Then when Kate woke her up in the morning, Kate asked her why she cried so much. And she said it's because mommy didn't sing her a song last night. Okay, fine. The catch, mommy sang her three songs last night. Then... Kate said she got really sad, and she said, Daddy, I want to play with Daddy all the time. Oh! But Daddy sleeps all the time. Which is, like, literally just a lie. Like, I, I go to bed last out of everyone. Sometimes Kate goes to bed after me, I guess. But I wake up first out of everyone every single day. I put the baby to bed and then wake up before the like two hours before the baby gets up And she's like I want to play with daddy, but daddy's sleeping all the time. The only oh, that's good The only time I'm asleep is when she's asleep She's gaslighting me man You on the dad naps? Absolutely not. I have not um Is this Babe Ruth? Holy cow, I, I've made Babe Ruth line out. I have not taken a nap. I'm trying to think of the last time I took a nap. It's definitely... It would probably be around the first three months of her existence on planet Earth. Because the, the best advice that they give you as a brand new parent is like, nap when they nap. Didn't you take a nap on vacation? Not at all. And I'm not one of those dads that's like, Oh, I'm not sleeping, I'm just resting my eyes. My ass didn't even get in the bed. When I get out of the bed, I don't get back in the bed until it's bedtime. Oh, Ooh, you can catch this, Yvette, Yvette. Okay. Oh, and we beat the throw. <laughs> You love to see that. What do you got? You okay? Give them a second. They, they've been weakened. They're not dead, but they're weakened. Hey! What the hell? What did I do? It's not my, I didn't deliberately hit you with the pitch. <laughs> they, if they are a sniper, they know that I don't know how to stop them from stealing if they steal before I pitch. Oh no, <laughs> what a hit. <laughs> what game is next? Not sap, right? Do you guys hear yourselves? I just have to ask. 10 minutes late, where's the stream? Where's the stream? Where's the stream? Stream starts, the lighting's all fucked up. Playing the game, baseball's boring. What's the next game? Next game doesn't even exist yet. Oh, I hope it's not this game. Like, it didn't, apropos of nothing at all. Then you go talk to your therapist after the stream and you're like, I don't know, I'm just not happy. Yeah, you look in the mirror, brother. Remember what Michael Jackson said? Not jobs gone. He said, I'm looking at the man in the mirror. I'm starting with the man in the mirror. I'm asking him to change his ways. I mean, if you're hitting that, I, I can't stop you, quite frankly. Like that was a slider that was inside. He said the message couldn't get any clearer. If you want to make the world a better place, take a look at yourself and then make a change. Listen, I'm not going to be mad that I gave up a home run to Babe Ruth. <laughs> That's his thing. That's what Babe Ruth does. Fine game. I will say, ever since I've been placed, I've lost every single game. Which, to me, means that the game fucked up. It placed us wrong. You should have placed us a division down. So... You get one more chance, and then you're getting a bad Steam review. 
it's dusty again. I'm writing on my 47 hours played, 35 hours played since this uh, review. They screwed it up really bad. David Ortiz uh, was not a contact hitter in real life. His contact stat should be 17. Also, he tended to put the paint uh, right at his cheekbones, but in the game, he puts it under his eyelids. It's like uh, Metalhead Studios didn't even do any research in advance of the release. Nay, so true. Me, when I'm checking out at, uh, at Hanam Supermarket in Burnaby, Vancouver, or Burnaby, British Columbia, your total is $135. Nay, <laughs> I mean, yes. How would you like to pay? On Visa, please. Here's your receipt. You think I don't have it in me? I know enough, I know enough words to get through the grocery interaction at, at Hanam Supermarket in Burnaby. <laughs> Sounds so can't. Shila hamni da suregi bong tu ju seo. Nay. Then they say something that I don't understand. Nice home run. Nice home run. <laughs> and uh, I hold out some money and then they ring it up on the cash register. They probably asked me how my day was and then I just went, uh. <laughs> I don't know. Nice, good, good catch on that one. You turned a, a double into a single with your fielding prowess. I appreciate that. Mojo's not doing so well on the pitcher. Let's try to get him out of this inning. You see the clip of uh, the new Mortal Kombat game? It said, like, Johnny Cage's combos are insane. And then someone said, um, this looks like when people edit Germa into fighting games. You think you'll like Oppenheimer as much as Tenet? I was thinking about, you know what would be um, a good tweet? Is like a tweet and the, the punchline is what if Joss Whedon wrote Oppenheimer? So it would start like Richard Feynman. Um, you guys get in here. You're gonna wanna see this. Then like um, Ernest Fermi rushes into the room out of breath. What is it, Richard? Did you get another stripper pregnant? <laughs> Sorry. Um, no. Even worse. I think I just invented the nuclear bomb. That would, that would be this. <laughs> I'm just sorry. <laughs> I only had the first part of the tweet planned, but it all came together so well at runtime. Did you see the Oppenheimer style joke? I did. I did. I think it's funny. I also, I want to say, I've caught some heat for this, but I think that Gangnam Style, I've been of the opinion that Gangnam Style still kind of goes hard. I had it validated for me because it was on a Peloton ride for me like three days ago and it got the blood pumping. I was loving life. Now there was someone on the bike trying to do the dance and I was like, don't do that. Like, I might be cringe, but I'm not that cringe. But, like, it was not the Colleen Ballinger version, okay? It was Taylor's version. Are you cameraman or skibbity toilet? Um, I'm, I honestly, I think I'm cameraman. Because I love Everybody Wants to Rule the World by, uh, by Tears for Fears. Which is the, the song most canonically associated with cameraman. I'm gonna just gonna go ahead and say it. I've only seen like two Skibbity Toilets. I think that Skibbity Toilet is better than the average source filmmaker video from the early 2010s. And they should be, cause like, you know, this generation, they got access to more tools and like they grew up watching YouTube poops and stuff like that. Whereas, you know, when people my age were making source filmmaker, it was always like, Oh, they, they got me moving off the steel. What if the spy caught the, what if the heavy caught the spy fucking his wife? Number nine, Super Who's also his gun, I think? I don't know, I'm not familiar with all the lore. Skibbity Toilet is like, um, it's a good surreal, surreal meme, man. Well, good might not be the word I would use, but I, it's got something going on. There's a little auteur theory in there. 
What kind of Source Filmmaker videos were you watching? Uh, Half-Life, Full-Life Consequences? Oh... Oh no, no, no. That's Gmod, you poser. Sorry. I didn't know. Now this is a situation I think we just play for contact because any anything that doesn't anything that lands gets us there unless it's a ground ball. It's a little low for me. A little low for me personally. Oh, he got. I didn't think he had. You know, I gotta give you credit for your mental there. I didn't think you would throw three balls in a row in that high-pressure situation. You, you, you bluffed and I, I folded. Good game, good game. That was a wild pitch, I can't, lol. All right, Dusty, I saw you right earlier. If you want, I'll stop queuing because I think it's just gonna pair us over and over. I said, no problem, Dusty, we can keep playing. If you're gonna have that level of uh, unsportsmanlike conduct, then yeah, sure, you can stop queuing. It was a good game, I didn't mean to pitch wild. Who's that guy that, uh, was like, oh, this guy's, uh, he's alive, and then we were like, oh, he's, he's alive. Germa? Germa! I watched Germa's stream yesterday for two seconds. Yeah. Because someone said, your setup to be looking like Germa. Yeah. And then it was so funny in his background, like here, like almost all of it was just like door. Yeah. <laughs> but then the walls would be color like that. We're both streaming from like 2007. Yeah. You guys are like, you guys are like the, the Cam brothers. We both started like a long time ago. And I think we, you know, are... Hey, we're reticent about being streamers. I feel like if you were like, a, if you became a streamer on purpose, you're like, oh, I need the, I need the cinematic lighting. I need the, I need the Dolby Atmos surround sound LED Red Bull mini fridge. If you're like, if you graduated from high school in like 2006, your ass is just like, holy cow. Working video cameras. Whoa! Working video cameras! I mean, back in, back in my day, you took photos on a regular camera. You had to take that shit to a Photoshop, get it developed. Some, I, there were some places that would do it in an hour, and eventually that became like the norm. But before that, sometimes it would take like six days. You go with your grandma to Walmart, drop it off. They'll be like, we'll call you when it's done. That is true. I can't imagine setting up like your your room to look so much like uh, like to take your stream so seriously, and then starting your stream and like a just watching TikTok videos over and over while eating, or b just making like no jokes, just like go making like the perfect stream room, and then being like, I'm going to gank mid now. Yes, I ganked mid. <laughs> <I'm> sorry. <laughs> Or like just focusing on like a single pixel in uh, next to a wall in Valorant. Nobody mid. Nobody's on corner. Nobody's on corner. I just can't the imagine. Are up here. 14. <laughs> they should put Jose Canseco in this game. And then for his ultimate, his thumb can fall off at a poker table. You ever see the Jose Canseco interview where he claimed he experienced a new form of time travel, but actually when he described it, he was just talking about remembering things? Good try, good try. I did not see that, um, <laughs> but that sounds hilarious. My mom banks for Jose Canseco. Should I be concerned about her safety? No, I mean... Oh, okay, great strikeout, great strikeout. I don't think he's a risk to do anything to your mom, especially because apparently he has a vested interest in their working relationship because she does his banking. Yeah, he's mostly just like, uh, just a little wacky, I think. I don't think it's fair to say that dude's mom is definitely getting piped by Jose Canseco. 
she's she's just his banker. Like I, I'm imagining he probably. You need to go outside like more often. Like that's just not realistic. I'm not saying they couldn't be, but I'm just saying I wouldn't assume that that's the most likely situation. Usher, yeah, okay, she's probably getting piped down by Usher. Now, quiet up and sit down. Wait, scratch that. Reverse it. Did you see the trailer for Wonk? For Wonka, dude? It got me so good. I, I, I have less than nothing against Timothy Chalamet. I actually think that Timothy Chalamet is a good actor who has chosen great roles. His ass should not be in Wonka. There shouldn't be a Wonka movie, man. Maybe it'll be amazing. I don't know. Even if it's good, it sucks, as far as I'm concerned. Because it's just, I don't want to see Willy Wonka fucking be dejected or something. Like, you know what the most cringeworthy moment in, Willy Won in the Wonka trailer was for me? Was when he said, this one's for you, mom. So the fucking story is like, oh, Willy Wonka's dad walked out at him and he's a little crazy. So his mom became like his best friend, like some Jojo Rabbit shit. No, he's crazy. That's Willy Wonka. He's just insane. He, he shows up on Earth fully formed in his purple suit like a Cormac McCarthy character. The chocolate factory was never built. It, it's merely existed since time immemorial. He exists only within the confines of the book and the movie, and that's it. There's no, he was never born, he never dies. There is no Willy Wonka, and there has always been a Willy Wonka. I don't need to see Willy Wonka fucking... He gets, so some bully kicks sand in his face and says, Why don't you go make chocolate, you nerd? And then that becomes like his whole life story. Like, it just, it's not necessary. It doesn't make any fucking sense. It's not, we don't need it. Do we really need the Oompa Loompa lore? I know! And then I was like, I bet they're not going to deal with the Oompa Loompa question. Then, no, never mind. Hugh Grant is an Oompa Loompa, it turns out. And he says something cute at the end of the trailer. Like, you know, you can't stop me once you started dancing. It's kind of our thing. I don't care if it gets a 90 on Rotten Tomatoes and a 71 on Metacritic. It's, I'm never going to watch it. Unless my mom wants to watch it with me. And then I'll grin and bear it. Because my mom read me a lot of Roald Dahl books as a kid. I think the movie's going to suck. But if it, if it brings her something to watch it with me, if it briefly makes her f feel like I'm six years old again, then I would, I would do that for my mom, of course. Kind of the way that Jose Canseco's doing that other guy's mom. <laughs> I guess the thing is, I don't want to be inspired by Willy Wonka. Because in the it's weird... Because Wonka is villainous. I know it sounds like, if you don't watch the movie critically, I'm not saying you got to recut the first movie so it's a horror movie. The point is, it straddles that Roald Dolly in line between like the macabre and the, the nightmarish and the whimsical and the bunch of kids die or almost die in the factory. And then we're going to see the, the chocolate cartel didn't want Willy Wonka to succeed. Isn't it inspirational how Willy Wonka uh, takes out the chocolate cartel and lives his dreams? Brother! He's got a bunch of Oompa Loompas working for him in his factory. He, a uh, bunch of kids come to his factory and, and suffer grievous injuries. Like, there's, there's a lot of problems here. This pisses me off, man. Or maybe the movie is more intelligent, but the trailer is not. Maybe the movie will be like, he's a bad person. But I don't want that either, because he's not a bad person. He's an alien. Willy Wonka's an alien from outer space. He landed here. He, was, he didn't have a childhood. He's a being. He's like Pennywise. Ooh. Is that lore or real? It's lore. Well, it's, <laughs> I made it up. Would you ever go to a VTuber concert? Why ask questions where the answer is just going to make you mad? That's one I don't even think I would go if my mom wanted me to go. Didn't you go to a Hatsune Miku concert? Yeah. I probably would not go again. <laughs> well, I don't know. If my, wife, if my wife was like, please go with me, I would go. But she's not a VTuber. She doesn't tube. She's a Vocaloid. There's a big difference. Got my girlfriend Usher tickets for her birthday. She's super excited. I bet she is. I bet she is. You gonna go with her? You're going to make her keep her body cam on the whole time? You know, I just hope that she's not in the section 
where he gets to the part where he goes, you know, all you got to do is tell me what you're sipping on, sipping on. And I promise that I'm going to keep him coming all night long. Looking in your eyes. <laughs> and I'm thinking, Jody, I got a thing for you. These eyes. Do -do -do -do. Cry every night doo -doo 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 for you. These eyes have seen a lot of lows, but they're never gonna see another love like that with you. Do -do 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 -do. Do -do 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 -do. These eyes. Ah! Oh, Charlie Horse. Oh, I don't get a Charlie Horse from singing. <laughs> These... <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh, oh. oh. <clears throat> I'm okay. Ah, oh, crying. Yeah. Old ass, old ass, old ass. Are you still on Wi-Fi? Listen, I'm on wired Wi-Fi. I have the I have the Wi-Fi runs into a Wi-Fi extender that is then hardwired into my computer via an Ethernet cable. It's half Wi-Fi. It's half Y, half Fi. Because this Ethernet jack out here, it turns out we plugged in the Cat 6 last night, it turns out that shit is not connected. Is there a cabinet you can plug the Ethernet cable into or is it literally not wired? I don't mean this to sound condescending, I'm just using this as a joke. Um, but I don't know because I can't see through walls. If I had the power to see through walls, I could look at the, the area where the port is and I'd be like, are there any wires going to this thing? <laughs> but I need someone to come to my house who can see through walls. I bet anybody in chat an electrician? There's probably some. I bet it's way better to be an electrician who wires stuff up before a house is built instead of an electrician who has to go to houses that are already built and then fix bad wiring. Because like it, it must be like a, a dream come true as as an electrician when you get called by like a house builder and they're like please wire up the house and you're like oh my god the walls aren't even in yet i can set this up like factorio style as as best as i want and it probably sucks ass when you're like you get a call from someone and they're like hey they did the wiring badly can you rewire my whole house okay apparently that's fair doesn't seem too fair to me but what do i know Catch him at second. Okay, okay, good double. Why are you on the McDonald's Wi-Fi? Why is anybody on the McDonald's Wi-Fi? Because it's free, man. POV, you were playing RuneScape and your mom just picked up the telephone to call for pizza? Mom! I'm trying to get Aggie 99 When are you going to let your daughter um, use the Peloton? <laughs> uh... Well, let's start with it. Like, we have a tricycle for her. And she, she can't even keep her feet on the pedals while I push the tricycle. So we need to start with her being able to keep her feet on the pedals while I push it. Then we need her to be able to push the pedals herself. Then we can start to talk about her getting on the peloton. A balanced bike is better than a tricycle. She's two and a half years old. She's not like, you know, Floyd Landis. We'll just chill out a little bit. It's not that big of a deal. People have been using tricycles for kids for like, you know, 700 years, I'm sure. So don't worry about it. You can start on balance bikes at 18 to 24 months. Are you like, I don't understand. Are you Matt Wilpers? Like who, what the hell is a balance bike? What's wrong with the tricycle? I'm not trying to teach her how to bike. I'm trying to put her on something that I can push so we can get to the grocery store in two minutes instead of 30 minutes. You said you wanted to get her on the Peloton as a goal? No, I didn't. Someone in chat said, when are you going to get her on the Peloton? And then I just started talking. That your ass had the, the idea that I was trying to get her in the Tour de France or something like that. She was born in the year 2020. You don't have to worry about the parenting advice. We got, we got the parenting all under control. She's eating well, she's sleeping well. Do you find it creepy when strangers on the internet ask how your kids are? It's not creepy. I was talking about it in the, in the content creator Discord today. 
people were saying things like, I, I, you know, even if you got stuff going on in your life, it's better not to vent, to chat about it because it just amplifies the issue. And I was, oh, <laughs> I was saying I agree completely, but it's hard to fight the instinct because as soon as you start to talk about anything personal, chat's like, oh, dude, finally. And they'll say things like, oh, it's good to talk about. It's good to get it out. It's good to vent sometimes. And I think that that's true. But it's probably not good to vent about it, like, at your job in front of, like, 5,000 people. So I try to stay away from, like, the personal stuff as much as possible on stream. Unless it's funny. Because it, it's not because, of, like, I don't want people... You knew you were going to get me on that one. It's not because I don't want people to uh, know things about my personal life. It's because I don't want to get in the habit of, like, telling my personal stuff to my customers. Like, it's just <laughs> no disrespect. Whatever happened to cup stacking? Is cup stacking still a thing? Still going strong? I feel like it was a big deal for, like, a few years. Oh, it turned into the Anna Kendrick song. So true. You're going to miss me when I'm gone. That's another Peloton hood classic. It was a huge deal in middle school. We didn't have cup stacking when I was in middle school. We had crazy bones. No joke. I, I don't know which was first, but my first two purchases of anything on the internet, one of them was I bought a ghastly Pokemon card off eBay and the card was like 40 cents. And then by the time all the shipping and handling was done, it was like $11 to get it to my house. This must have been in like 1999. So it was like well before Amazon reinvented how to do last mile delivery. And also I lived out in the country. But it was like such a novelty to get a Pokemon card online in, the, in that era that it was almost like it was worth it, you know? Just to, just to have like a van pull up to my house and be like, here's your Pokemon card. I was like, whoa! I didn't even have to leave my house. All I had to do was digitally send someone 40 cents, which was almost impossible in 1999, especially as someone who was 11 years old, and then uh, type in my address, pay another $12 on my mom's credit card to FedEx or something like that, and then wait four to six weeks for it to arrive at my house. The other one was I traded crazy bones with a stranger online. And I remember me and my friend both did it. I traded, um, I can't remember what my trade was for, but I sent my crazy bone and I received the crazy bone that I asked for. My friend sent his crazy bone, but he did not receive the crazy bone he asked for. So close. What crazy bone did he ask for? He asked for Jaws, the shark crazy bone, but he got scammed. I don't want to brag, but like the same friend, he, um, we used to play crazy bones together and I would usually win. And the reason I would usually win is because we, he lived on a farm. So he, his parents would like make him do real work. I didn't do anything. Like I was the only child. I just played crazy bones all the time against the wall. <laughs> so after a while, I had like won so many of his crazy bones that his, uh, his mom took me aside and was like, you can keep playing crazy bones, but please stop playing them for keeps because our son is getting really upset. And I was like, okay, that's fair. I valued the friendship more than I valued the crazy bones, but... Skill issue? Well, like, it was, it was not fair, you know? Because, like, when you're, when you're living in the country in the pre-online gaming era... Like, there's no skill-based matchmaking. It's region-based exclusively. Whoever your next-door neighbor is that, like, has a kid that's around the same age as you, he becomes your opponent in everything. It wasn't fair for my friend. If, if there was a video game that was, like, how far could you, like, carry a heavy-ass pail of milk, he would have cooked me. But they don't make video games like that. Every single one was, like, you know, <laughs> Super Smash Bros. and stuff like that. I remember playing Super Smash Bros. with him and some of our other friends. And they got so mad at me because, like, I was playing as Link or Samus. I mean, it happened multiple times. But I was, I, you'd play as a character with a gun or a sword and then with items on. 
you would pick up a gun or a sword and they would be like almost fist fighting. They'd be like, Link already has a sword. You can't pick up another sword. Like, my guy doesn't have a sword. I hate that NL uses items in Smash. Brother, this was age 10 when there was one Smash game. There was no, there was no meta for, you ride your bike over to your friend's house. The 10 year old kid in the fifth grade is gonna be like, you're, you really play with sledgehammers on? There were no streamers like corrupting the nation's youth or anything. I'm not even being like a, an idiot on this one. You saw me play Ultimate. I would kick most of chat's ass at Smash. Some of chat would crush me. But like I, I have like 4,000 drunk hours in Smash 64. It, it just gives you some instincts in Smash, at least. I'm not trying to say that it's the ideal, you know, Smash experience. You're getting clapped. You'd be surprised, man. I almost beat Lud, remember that? I know you're like, Lud's not good. He's, he would kick you, all of your asses, not even most of your asses. I don't believe you'd beat most of Chad. Bro, I was elite in, in Smash Ult, and I don't, or Smash Ultimate, I don't even know what I'm doing. People had to teach me what neutral moves were. I would destroy you in melee? Yo, I would destroy your ass in 64. We're not talking about dead games. We're talking about ultimate. Would you beat Chad in Street Fighter? I would say no. Smash is a different story because you just have to press one to two buttons to do every move. Other fighting games are a, it's a different animal. Why do you keep playing against the same team? This is like 11 a.m. on a Wednesday. I think is the real answer. Like, there's not that many people playing right now. Especially at my incredibly high skill level. I mean, I don't blame them. It is like $40. Also, it has mixed Steam reviews for reasons that I do not feel qualified to understand. Do they have cross-platform? They do. But unemployment is at like 3.7% right now. There's, there's, nobody, uh, there's nobody around for me to play. Joe Biden killed gaming. Honestly, it's one of the few things that I like about his tenure so far. His war on gamers, I think was, that was an astute policy decision from this administration. Can someone explain why the Activision Microsoft deal is supposed to be good? No, um, I'm not trying to black pill people. I'm not trying to say that you shouldn't care about anything, but I'm going to posit something that you may push back on, but we'll find common ground, maybe. You should not, unless you work in the gaming industry, I think way, 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 way too many people care about gaming news. It took me a long time to realize it. For me, I think like, at the end of the day, what matters is that games come out and then they're either good or they're bad or they're somewhere in between. I don't need to know they fired the executive producer of um, Battlebit Remastered, and now he's going to work at Metalhead Studios to make Super Mega Hockey 5, and I, the doorbell just rang? I'm sorry. I'm not, I'm, not, I'm not getting it. They can probably hear me say that. I'm at work right now. I'm at work. I'm in an important meeting. I'm in an important meeting. How's your day? Thank you for asking. It's, it's been good so far. I woke up a little late. I woke up at 6.20 instead of 6 because my uh, daughter woke up in the middle of the night. Caused my, my sleep schedule to be a little bit messed up. Um, two great 45 minute Peloton rides stacked back to back. Total output was like 1110 kilojoules. Average wattage in the mid 200s, like not 250, but like maybe 208, 209. It's a low 200s, but I'm talking about deciles, not centiles. Had a granola bar and a bowl of cereal. Played some super mega baseball. I'm feeling good. What's up? What's up? What's up? Wait, this is my first time on Discord. Maybe I don't have my mic set up right. What's what? up? <laughs> What's, what? up? What's, What's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? 
What's up? What's up? What's, What's up? up? What's, What's up? up? Mouse open. open. What's up? 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 <laughs> What's up? What's up? Hello. 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 hello, hello. Oh. 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 Working in London. I forgot last time it broke. Hello. Hi. Hello. My audio is not coming through all the time anymore. You can use your uh, um, Among Us voice overlay. Um, call me a NASCAR pit stop the way I fucking finish quick. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> NASCAR pit stop. I make the same sound too. Man, I'm always hearing like that. The, when, uh, the gun. How much Little NASCAR are you uh, you gun. watching? Ah, oh, so much. It's probably my favorite driving sport. I'm it, so excited. I want to see what sponsors next. Are you gonna go see the Coca-Cola 600 in person? Uh, uh only if it's Coke Zero. Mm, I'm, I'm no, they canceled. Bad. Woke mind virus. No, no, no. Coke Zero is so good, dude. It's can it, Yeah, that's why it's canceled. Yeah, just don't just oh. don't bring it into a cafe. Are you referencing the new Adam Sandler movie? Yeah, I, dude, I, I am. <laughs> Corey, also, I, I'm, so I'll awesome. message you on the back channel. I'll tell you which cafe not to take I, a Coke I Zero a into. I, I, I have a feeling I know which one it is. Because <laughs> when you were telling that story, it sounded very, very local. <laughs> yes. That is correct. <laughs> Wait, did you get in trouble for taking a Coke Zero into a cafe? I wouldn't say I got in trouble, but I did get asked. Well, I did get told that there's no outside food or drink allowed. So then I just took my Coke Zero and put it on the sidewalk outside until we left. Oh, nice. I had, I had that happen when I was a kid. Seemed pretty meaningless to me, <laughs> like kind of insulting as an adult to be asked to do that while my wife well, also, is buying like, a bunch of stuff at your business. But whatever. Yeah, if I'm not mis, if I'm if I'm not misunderstanding as well, like you weren't even like there to eat. You were just waiting. I was sitting with my two year old in a chair waiting for my wife to buy bread so we could yeah. go to another. So you place. were taking up space yeah. from like, paying customers. They had a lot of space to take up. That's all I'm gonna say. <laughs> I don't. If 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 it's the place I'm thinking of. There's usually no one inside. Mm, I would Bosco? say that's, that's <laughs> relatively apt, yes. <laughs> I've only had positive experiences in the place I'm thinking of. Well, then but, don't, it's fine. I, nothing against you know, the business. I've never, I have something against the rule. Yeah, I've just never brought in uh, Coke Zero. He said, he I know them my outside rights. and beat their ass. He said, I know my rights as an American. I'm not taking my goddamn <laughs> Coke Zero out of this goddamn I did, I establishment. Kind of re resented it because as soon as I put the Coke Zero outside, people would like walk by and look at the Coke Zero on the ground and then like, <laughs> go like tisk tisk. What kind of asshole would leave his Coke Zero on the ground? <laughs> and I was like, it's not, it's not what you think. I'm gonna drink it. Or they're like, man, I could really go for a Coke Zero right now, and they walk away from the cafe. It was, it was pissing me off, honestly. <laughs> and then the, I. I'm not one of those people who like time heals all wounds because I do too much negative self-talk. The wounds only get deeper. <laughs> oh, like an no. elephant. Exactly. He's got a real big trunk. What the hell? What does that mean, man? Are you talking, <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. What, Don't do us. it. Don't do it. All right, it's a secret. Corey doesn't see my penis, but he can infer... That we have similar penises because we both get <laughs> turtle heads on the bicycle. It's too early, man. We do, we do. I do get turtle heads. Can on I that bike. say something? Yeah. I I haven't had a turtle head in probably like eight months. What is you a probably, turtle you head? Got so They're damn like skinny. the you know the kid chibi, the box of turtles. No, Ryan Tur puts them in his pants when he bikes. <laughs> A turtle head is I when your, turtle... your your dick goes inverted, basically. You're because I a turtle head is when the poop comes it's out. It's both. It's like it's oh well, yeah, it it's an English that. language. No, it's prairie thing. dogging. That's, I would say it's both. Fat bastard says I got a turtle head poking out. He does. He does uh... say that. Wait. Okay. Hang on. Let me envision it. It goes inverted. So you have I have, it... I have a circumcised penis. 
Oh, uh, yes, let's go, let's go. Yeah, yeah, new house has done something to you, man. And I then think I literally think there's carbon monoxide poisoning in no, your No, I'm home. just being uh, oh, men can't be honest anymore. And then it's just something insane when you, for you to say that. I, you, I would never expect. I've been weird since before you were born. Okay. Millions of people. Okay. Continue. <laughs> and then when I sit down on the bike in a certain position for a, a length of time, the foreskin that is folded like down, like <laughs> okay. comes up and it reclaims its old standing. And the head, Wait. The, the the head recedes into. It's God. like I have to it's, mute everybody. <laughs> it's like yeah, the man. Call of Duty, the three zones. They got to recapture. It's like you know. That is kind of awesome though, because yeah, you're but it, like, so, it like, like starts by feeling like a little uncomfortable, and then it hurts, and then it goes completely numb. I've, well, I've never you, had it hurt. Keep, <laughs> if you That's keep biking, you're gonna be like numb. uncircumcised again in like five years. So why do you think I'm gonna doing go so back? Much? <laughs> That's why he's riding all yeah. the time. Yeah. I've been ready, like man. I've been not really listening while I've been troubleshooting, and then Ryan's like, like, coming in and out, and now I finally started paying attention. And I'm like, what the? F how the fuck did we get here? <laughs> we were talking. Uh, so talking he, could, he took his Coke Zero. It's just yeah. guys, zero <laughs> guys talking like guys, you know, just just end up talking about our, each other's dicks. He just, said I had a huge trunk. I did say he had a talk. huge trunk because that's basically yeah. But then it hasn't happened in like eight months, so it's okay. The the turtle head thing, huge trunk. Dude, wow. may, maybe your trunk got bigger. I don't think so. Maybe the branches got a little smaller, or the junk got smaller. Yeah. <laughs> this is crazy. This is crazy. Yeah, this is nuts. This, I, even I, even this is crazy to me, man. It's not crazy at all. It's just it's just skin. It's just anatomy. It's just flesh and bone. I mean, you scared yeah, of I mean, science? Yeah, like, it, like it should. Uh, fine, it's like normal to talk about, but like, like, I feel like we've walked into like a mall and we've just started yelling it in front of everyone. <laughs> <laughs> that is true, kind of. Well, like we stood up on a stage in front of thousands of people, and Ryan, Ryan grabbed him like, "I'm circumcised." <laughs> the crowd starts going crazy, dude. <laughs> yeah, I did not start on time, and. I cannot do the jabbing. Like, y'all, uh, hang on. What, what are y'all doing? I, I can't do this every you, day. You do A, 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 Left stick down, left stick up. Oh, that's a perfect angle. I thought I ran good. Let's go. I'm gonna kill the- Yeah, wait, did Justin say he would never get the jab? Is that what you just said? Wait a minute. Based, 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 based. Yeah, I'm going for a new demographic. Someone next to me is going to the moon and back. What the hell? Oh no, I did the thing where you just stop. Why didn't it let me push a button to do the turn? You can hear my sticks, I'm sorry. Yes. I'll fix the noise gate. Oh, I'm so in second place. I did the thing where I stopped. Chibli, I know this is going to sound insane. On my screen, you beat me, and it said I came in second. Wow! What? what? On my on my screen, you touched the wall first, and your Spanish flag was there, and then <laughs> and I, I was literally I was like, what TV. happened? I was in first the whole time by a mile. Oh my god! You're not going to hear my sticks this time. I don't think. Hold on, let me test. You were here. No, no, yeah, we heard it. You only heard the first one. So I was like at the end of talking. Oh, that's true, true, true. Guys, the pressure's off. We already set a new world record in the London stream so far. Every, everybody can relax now. Woof. I feel like as long as we get one world record per segment, the... I'll never relax. It's not dead. Dude, I get jump scared whenever I see a crack pipe IRL. I feel like it's, it's like something I'm not into look at. How often yeah. does that happen? No, yeah, there's a couple crack pipes in New Zealand. I've, I've seen some things in Vancouver, man. Yeah, me too. Enormous, <laughs> dry human shit in a Starbucks cup just on the sidewalk. Oh, Bro, no. I saw I saw one in a Coke Zero can one time in Vancouver. <laughs> you, you've never been to some Vancouver. Guy, some guy drank it after. Wait a minute. <laughs> some drank oh, it I'm saying I had a bottle. Thank God. I got really scared for a second there. What if doing good made you horny? Doing good problem. at like in diving? Yeah. He <laughs> just bricked up on the platform. Is that what bricked up means? I don't know actually. 
I thought it just meant you're constipated. I thought it was constipated too. It probably is. It's about a boner. Yeah, but I think it's a boner thing. It's a boner? It could be yeah. both. Boner. Malf and I went to high school with a guy. Um, this is just so he can join in on the story. And uh, <laughs> independently, this guy and I both saw a one hour photo at the movie theater the same weekend, that Robin uh -huh. Williams movie where he's crazy. Um, yeah. yeah. So there's a scene in that movie where Robin Williams kidnaps two people who are having an extramarital affair with each other and forces them to have intercourse on camera. And mm -hmm. then that guy who was a mutual friend of ours, I was talking to him about it. And he was like, yeah, that scene made me cream my jeans. And I was like, <laughs> I was like, oh, no, why? Because they were like naked. And he was like, no, I was so scared. And I was like, <laughs> what? <laughs> and I said, isn't creaming your jeans like when you, you know what, in your underpants? Oh, no. And then he said, oh, no. no, it's when you poop your pants. <laughs> oh, so I went no. like 15 years thinking that like the jury was out. Like at least creaming your jeans to me was at least ambiguous. It's like chocolate I kinda, mousse. I have a, oh, I have a similar bad story, but I have to eat, dude. <laughs> I have to Google wrong my term before I say it in case it's a horrible <laughs> slang. <laughs> okay, no, yeah, I had, a, I had a similar story. I used to think, um, <laughs> no, no, I used to think, like, giving someone the clap was just, like, slapping them. <laughs> <laughs> so, like, I would tell people I'm going to give them the clap all the time. Like, and the one, the, I said it one time, and someone was like, what? You're going to what? And then oh, they, they informed me what it, that is what is what it means. It's Do you know why it's called that? Someone. No, I didn't you're Google gonna, it. You're gonna love it. Why is it called that? Okay, can you say it? I was. Uh, they uh, they that no, they, they clap that shit out. What? <laughs> what? That's what I heard. Yeah, like yeah. If, that's if like the doctor it, has like, to clap it. Like in the, uh, they would they they would uh, smash your dick. <laughs> Ooh! With their Smash hands? your dick up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The prodigy? Smash your dick! <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. Right now, now. They just start clapping it. I don't believe you. No, it's true. I that let me go also way don't too early. You. It's true. I would rather it fell off. I'm gonna get it and try. Do you know why they call it gonorrhea? Why? Because when you get it, it gives you diarrhea. That's so bad, you wish it was gone. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I only like that good diarrhea. <laughs> <laughs> Miss me with that bad diarrhea. <laughs> yeah, that, that diarrhea, and I'm like, oh, I hope this stays. This is good, man. I like this one. <laughs> <laughs> no, that diarrhea. is real, this though. It's livery. <laughs> <laughs> there is good diarrhea. I will argue that. I agree, actually. <laughs> Is when, it called stay area? When it feels like you're barely holding it in, and then you sit on the toilet, and it all comes out in half a second. That's good diarrhea. Yes. Yeah, and, and it's just poop? like liquid. The, and, and, and let's say there's no strain, there's nothing, it's easy, it's like clean for you, not clean for the toilet, yeah. but for you, you're good, man. Well, like diarrhea implies that it's like uncomfortable. Though. Well, it's liquid. But you, the like, worst diarrhea no. is when you sit on the toilet and then you squirt like a little liquid and then you know you got more, but you sit there for like eight minutes uh -huh. and then you got yeah. like a little more. Yeah. Really, really. And it like burns for some really reason. Really hitting all the classics today, huh? <laughs> it sucks. I have I had the horrible food poisoning last year. I'm a connoisseur. We're like. Hmm. We're I was constipated about. three days ago. Can I have the controller shit. setup I did is bad? Because I keep throwing a perfect 50 no matter what I, have, I do. I have an honest statement. I don't think I've ever been constipated. Count yeah. yourself lucky, man. I, yeah. I've never had a situation <laughs> where I've been like, I feel like I need to poop, but I can't. It's just never happened to me. I can't even imagine it happening to me. Surprise, surprise, but this story is going to revolve around Japan for me. But when I first moved there, uh, I didn't poop for two weeks. Right, yeah. But were you constipated or did you just not poop? I mean, I, that's constipated. <laughs> like, were you like, oh, yeah, like the I definition of? I think You're it was just shy. For two weeks, did man. you feel bad or did you just like not have to poop? Yeah, I mean, you, I felt like full. That's the end of, the round. of shit. Well, that's good. <laughs> probably like, saved <laughs> on your grocery bill. Yeah, right? Exactly. Yeah. I was still eating. Mm, probably oh, stop that's that. your problem. Why'd you do that? You're just clogging yeah. it up more. <laughs>
I was hoping it would help push it out from the other side. It's like flushing when the water's already coming up, man. You gotta call a plumber. Move it's like up. on the show alone. The the one lady, she she confessed. She's like, all right, elephant in the room. I haven't pooped for 14 days. <laughs> and they're like on this Arctic circle, the hunting rabbits and stuff, like living in little wooden teepees. Like, man, that's got to suck. Trying to poop while it's minus 40 out. Yeah. Mm. Oh, yeah. I, if I was the poop, I wouldn't want to come out, bro. It's cold. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Let's go. Well, let's go. The worms that live in my anus are like. <laughs> <laughs> oh. You're all right, man. Do they have Pizza Hut in New Zealand? <laughs> yeah, I went there the other week. Hut. It was horrible. <laughs> what about Ooh, Domino's? What? Pizza Hut is actually like, I think it's underrated. Oh, I think. Uh, I think Domino's is be oh, to the be Domino's fair. I think my better. local Pizza Hut is horrible, I and I Domino's think they scammed the me. I thought that Domino's, Domino's I don't, I don't like came up, but then mm, no, so for like Papa ten years, bottom. I thought that Domino's was on the up and up, and then I had some recently, and I was like, no, this shit actually sucks. Hey, oh, did you get the pan pizza? I got whatever the default Domino's. No, I got the you get the pan the pizza, or you send it back. They should make yeah, the pan pizza pan the normal pizza then. Does Domino's make pan pizza? Yeah, but you can only get it in medium size because it got like 12 inch pans. <laughs> You're, that's a pizza. Are you thing. okay? <laughs> what? You know too much about Domino's, man. I'm just saying, if I'm getting Domino's or pizza, Justin. I'm, I'm getting the Domino's. <laughs> well, like, I, th I think I've told the story before to y'all, but I have a, like a core memory as a child. In kindergarten, they marched us all to Pizza Hut. And then they showed us all how to make a personal pizza <laughs> and how like an assembly line works. Nice. That's pretty and, uh, cool. I remember my, my sister was crying instilled. because she, uh, they didn't let us actually make them. We had to tell them what we wanted on it. And she uh, said, I want nothing. I want nothing on it. Left, and she like, made no like sauce? a plain pizza. Yeah. But uh, they literally they just toasted bread. a piece of bread and she started crying. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, you don't fuck around and find out, right? <laughs> <laughs> I remember in sixth a, grade we used to get uh, pizza slices on Wednesday and there was a really cool kid in class but then one day he ordered pepperoni but all they had left was supreme which mm -hmm. has like green peppers on it and then he started crying at his desk and I was like so cool. <laughs> that was like get on cool guy not so popular now are you <laughs> looking back it's kind of fucked up because he was like 12 but <laughs> so was I. Man. Damn, you all did a perfect Justin. <laughs> so you all get a gold and I get a silver, right? No, no you, you get, get nothing, nothing, man. You get whatever yeah. they give the fifth place guy. <laughs> I think it's okay. uh, Gooderia. Hey. hey. The new you know, flavor from Bud Light. You're all of us, Justin. They should add basketball to this game. Oh, yeah. They should. It's not in the Olympics yet. What? Isn't that crazy, now. actually? Oh, no, wait, what? He's I just made it up. Yeah. yeah, you're fucking with it. I was like, wait, wait. I was just trying to make all <laughs> the it, Lithuanian I took it at face angry. value, and then I was like, wait, no, it's mm -hmm. absolutely in the fucking... <laughs> they should put out a London, uh, like, 3012. Whoa, now we're talking. And it's a bunch of, like, futuristic Olympic games. Oh, it's got, like, a laser bow and arrow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Laser Hot dog hover shoes. Sucking. Filling yep. your Amazon Prime cart faster than anyone else? <laughs> hey, well, you want to do that one? It seems like uh, in the future, my wife will be an Olympian. <laughs> Am I right? Oh, <laughs> oh shit. Oh, my <laughs> God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, man. Can he say that? Oh, Fucking man. pig. <laughs> <laughs> This is men's high jump, right? It. Why does it matter? Well, the standards are different. He's right, but he shouldn't say it. I'll tell the Olympics. This guy's telling it like it is. Go <laughs> to the Olympics, all right? They'll probably kill you, Corey. People are trying to the cancel Olympics? Corey for saying that men can usually jump higher than women in the Olympics, but I'm not. I'm not going to stand for that. I stand by my friend. I don't know. He also I'm said just... men like sushi and... Well, okay, that's just ridiculous. Hey, I love sushi. <laughs> <laughs> and you call yourself I like a Frank, man? I love Frank Ocean. We know. What the fuck? We know, we know. 
What's the like crazy height? What'd you all do? I didn't pay attention. Uh, 260. 260? <laughs> That's a crazy height. I'm gonna do this one. Dude, I got this a 69 one. degree angle and I'm happy with it. What? Listen, you can't cancel something that's not been started, all right? Mm. Try telling that to Jonah Hill. <laughs> I mean, he's pretty making he said that he won an Oscar. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> oh, Justin, oh. quite a jump. Why the hell was that speed lock not good? Do you think if there was, like, a person that was, like, five meters tall... Mm. ...and they just stepped over the bar, would that count as high jump? They probably have to have like two feet off the ground at the same time. I think they'd have to hop, but yeah, they'd have to yeah, hop. They'd have like to at least hop it. Well, I think they could do it. Probably. Especially if they were a man. <laughs> <laughs> didn't have to say that. They could probably do it if they were a woman too. Five meters with that. I'm gonna like stay silent during this tall? just to let everyone know I don't support the um these comments. Thanks, guys. Dude, what the fuck? This speed lock shit sometimes just makes no fucking sense. Oh. Also, I don't want to be in the clip. <laughs> I don't want to be in the clip. <laughs> When's the next celebrity boxing? And who is it? It's me and you. Oh. Today. Oh fuck. I was gonna make that same joke. I was gonna say it's you and me tomorrow. <laughs> Justin, you're a genius, bro. Thank you. You too. Thank you, man. No, no, you, you. I'm just a small guy. Dude who in every conversation, like, uh, for some reason is adamant on him being the small guy. No, you, man. I'm just a small guy, Justin. I'm just a little small guy. It's all you, dude. Have you guys seen... Uh, like a hype man. Have you seen Mark Zuckerberg No, I'm not a hype man. I'm a small guy. He's, yeah, he's jacked, buff, man, bro. He's in pretty good shape, for he's sure. He's buff? Mark, Mark Zuckerberg. Zuckerberg, he's jacked. He's in good shape. That's my social media billionaire. <laughs> fuck Twitter. <laughs> I was going to say hashtag fuck Twitter, but Threads doesn't have hashtags. Don't fuck with the Zuck. I'm it's ass, going. bro. Going. It's so ass. Yeah, Don't. It's, not, it's horrible. It's not, it's not going to make it. <laughs> Ryan, Ryan, let me explain it to you. Take the worst tweets you see on your timeline of people... Okay. Saying the most like bland jokes to Panda <laughs> for millions of likes, and then make that your entire timeline. Man, well, I did see That's the threads. Dane Cook thread post that was like, "Wow, I'm getting great vibes over here on Threads." Almost like they built a platform where people lift each other up instead of pulling each other down. That you know what? Uh, I think I'm gonna go take a dip in my pool. Then I'll be back to talk to you fine folks even more. And I was like, I cannot go on this website. It's just yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's just not good for me. Yeah. I'll leave you in the hands of my brother to manage my account while I'm gone. Oh, Oops, man. I don't get it, but I'll laugh anyway. You see, his brother stole all of his money. Really? Yeah. How do you know so much? Brother or brother-in-law, one of the two. I have an undefined. I hey, pushed I the wrong button. I think the second time ever. Congratulations. <laughs> mm, things your mom said when I <laughs> ate uh, her uh, out. <laughs> oh my god. Okay. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> Avoiding the clip again. Uh, just it's funny. Why well, is it legal to be funny now? <laughs> I would drag out of my cat yeah. too, dude. Sushi. Oh, man. Oh, man. If it's illegal, had a good time. To, if it's illegal to be hilarious, you might as well put me in the electric chair right now. Okay. Goodbye. <laughs> <laughs> I kill you. My, my head becomes a skeleton. You can see my bones through my skin. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking we, we rabbit should, shit, man. Dude, I got a crazy. We should kill one of us. Um, <laughs> uh, not it, not it. I don't agree. Yeah, not it. Not, I'm it. Small uh, not guy. me. I'm the, I'm the youngest. I have so much to live for. I'm just a small guy. <laughs> well, what the fuck does that you mean? You, you mean, you you mean the last I'm going? guy? You were the last guy to say not it, so. I have to ask you guys one thing. Yeah. I like, it's like, 
uh, uh, like the bold jokes, okay. <laughs> Cause like <laughs> yeah. I try to avoid them, but I like I can't help myself sometimes, and I, and then I feel so guilty. It depends. It depends on the context, but usually okay. Okay. If you're bald. just like, how you bald piece of shit? Oh, fuck. Yeah, you it's kind of like, fuck you, baldy. I don't mind a bald <laughs> joke as long <laughs> as it's <laughs> funny. But like, you've heard all the other yeah. bald jokes a thousand times I just, if you've been I, bald. I just don't want to make them because, like, I think I'm balding. And I think I'm <laughs> like, I think me making bald jokes takes another hair follicle out of my head. <laughs> yeah, that's true. It hurts less coming from a fellow bald as well. That is that's definitely <laughs> okay, I'll, I'll, true. I'll say them in a, in a few years. Five, ten Wait, years. Sh shouldn't Probably Corey be the one to answer this question? What are you talking about? Go Corey's balder than me. Oh wait, I did it backwards. <laughs> oh no, it's the late start. Why? I was doing so good, and then I started like running on my tippy toes. For some oh, hey, well, hey, the toe jokes are not okay. The ball jokes are okay, but let's leave the toes out of this. <laughs> wait, what about the long ball jokes in this one? Those are okay. Mm. I got 89 <laughs> problems, 10 yeah, of them are toes. I can't, I can't, I can't, What are the other 89? Uh, you? Wow. <laughs> <laughs> I'm only 40, man. What the fuck? That's old. Dude, I did, I, I crushed someone on the Peloton this morning, and I was like, yeah, you bitch, fuck you. Then I clicked on their profile, uh -huh. that dude, the motherfucker was legit 80 years old. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Felt horrible. <laughs> <laughs> Did you apologize to them? But you, there's no you apology, but he all you can do, do is high five. Oh, okay. Yeah, he didn't. He didn't <laughs> I think he, he said, like, message. fuck you. To I, did, yeah, I didn't, I didn't flame him. Like, in the, just in my head, I was like, your, your ass thought I, I thought you could phone beat me. Number through their account. <laughs> I figured he was old, the, but like, I didn't expect him to be in his 80s. Like, that's, do people have like usernames? They oh, do, right? Yeah. Dude, they yeah, do, yeah, and yeah. it's horrible. I haven't seen any bad ones. Well, like, I mean bad in the sense that like, They'll be like Ron Burgundy, North Carolina, oh, and then true. their profile yeah. photo will be Ron Burgundy. Yep. Also, a lot of people getting into like political arguments via their hashtags. Also, That's a lot so of weird. a lot of people who clearly made their politics hashtags oh, uh, many years ago and have not been on the bike for a while. Yeah. <laughs> I like I like when I uh, when I like double someone's score. Oh yeah, you t keep talking. And then I click on it and it's like some sixty year old woman. And I'm like, oh, <laughs> I don't feel quite as good. Anymore Biden for my that. nine grandkids. Yeah. Do you yeah. ever do it? And it's like a like a like a buff guy. Oh yeah. Never. Yeah. You see I've him. never seen it. The thing you, I'm most Little scared guy. of on the bike though. I'm I'm not scared of like a 20 year old Jack dude. I'm always scared of like a 55 year old accountant who lives in Wisconsin. Like that dude is you're, gonna ruin your life. You're what? not scared of Jack Dorsey. I'm I'm not scared of Jack Dorsey. He could ruin you financially. Probably true. He's who's too busy ruining himself financially. Jack Dorsey. Excuse me. He's oh, the shit. he's the founder of Twitter and the current CEO of Block. Blue Sky. Dude, Jack I got the same Tomsky. score twice. What the hell? Jack Dorsey. Dun, 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 down, 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 turn out the lights. Turn out the lights. So true. <laughs> What's my girl Nelly up to? That's Nelly Furtado. Yeah. I think she was on Canada's Got Talent for a while. Does it? <laughs> Does it? <laughs> That's good. That's good, bro. There's some, there's some talent there. They were like, no one's juggling and doing fucking magic and shit like they used to. They kind of fell off. Dude, I gotta tell you, I feel like I also have no skills. I need to say that first, because what I'm about to say is like really fucked up. But Kate and I went to like a Vancouver Canucks game, and in the intermission, the entertainment was like two 17-year-old kids who apparently came like fifth on America's Got Talent. All they did was like, they had hockey sticks, and then they would like oh. flick a hockey puck in the air with their stick and then spin around like three times and then catch it on their stick again. So they did that for like two minutes and I was like, all right, like I, I can't do that. That's pretty impressive. But then like the second song started and I was like, here we go. But then they just kept flipping it up in the air and then spinning around three <laughs> times and catch it. They went on for like 15 minutes of just the same thing. And I'm like, what, what are we doing here? That's annoying. The world record! And they me. came like, I think they made it to the semifinals of the show. Can you imagine being like a, a amazing dancer or something? Or somebody that breaks wooden boards with your tongue? You beat by yeah. the two kids doing the hockey stick stuff? No disrespect to them if they're watching. 
Oh man, yeah, whatever. Probably what watching. Oh, yeah. they're, they're practicing right now. Puck drops sadly onto the ground. I will say none of them dropped it. They were they were perfect, and that is impressive in and of itself. But like, you know. After a while, you're just like, I've seen it. fucking jump off. Let, let me, let me uh, listen to my favorite streamer, Northern Lion. Oh, man. <laughs> well, maybe they'll add a new move now. Yeah, like, a, they'll it had, like, a, a dark period where they'll make, like, a really moody routine where they flip the puck in the air. <laughs> yeah. Like, they'll yeah. make their their own you ought to know about me. That'd be fun. You, you, you. A psychedelic you era. are super bold. That is true. I'm bolder than they are. And I can't do the hockey Just stick thing. So. For now. True. One day my hair might grow back. <laughs> yeah, you can't really... You yeah, can't write that you out. Know. Once oh, you achieve frick. baldness, it's kind of as bald as you oh, get. this is bad, boys. I mean, what's more bald? Like, having, like, a clean shave or, like, the Larry David? I think the Larry David qualifies uh, more, more bald. bald right? No, less Absolutely. hair. It's more bald. I disagree. You think I'm <laughs> less bald than Larry David? Yes. Really? You look less bald. Thank you. That's crazy because he has no hair on his head. <laughs> I know. I know. <laughs> I know. It's... Yeah, but the little the little halo of hair looks more bald than. Yeah, it's like it's like it like emphasizes the baldness more. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is oh, the most bullshit nice time. Nice try, ever. Chibli. Nice try. Maybe next Dude, time. I, oh, Chibli that's fans. The best. I got a PB. That's the best <laughs> so I've ever I. Wait, so you got I. a penalty too? <laughs> Chibli I fans, you guys are well. going to be scary next year. Oh, you really have me sweating. Fuck. How <laughs> far off was I? Oh, Ryan, I've been nothing but respectful. <laughs> Ignore the bald joke I made five and a half seconds ago. But I've been nothing sorry. but respectful to you my entire life, sorry, man. Sorry. Hey, look, you got the last laugh. You know how much that hurts? You're Mal like a father to me. Now, are you okay? I just, I, I got uh, off to a bad start, you know? In five events, you got no medals. It seems like you got off oh, to a bad finish Oh, it's not about the medals, well. man. I'm here for the free Cokes. <laughs> I got you a PB, a bit? and I was like a minute slower than the other two guys. Yeah. Wait, Corey, do you know the Claymore strat and battle bit? Oh, to infinite Claymores? Yeah, because they don't do spawn, so you can just yeah, place like 500 were, a game. <laughs> people were telling me it sounds really funny. I, d I did it, and I got like 50 kills a game. Like, it's guaranteed positive KD. It's so That's funny. That's so funny. That is pretty funny. That's pretty fucking funny, man. That's pretty funny. Yeah, remember when we played Battlebit, and it was like the best segment that we've ever played? It was I loved it. it. High in the running for worst segment of the year. I noticed it wow. didn't make it to you. <laughs> I'm glad I didn't listen to the one person that came into my chat and said, hey, play battle bit with the guys. And I was like, you know what? I don't think they're going to be playing it this time next week. Oh, you yeah. missed a moment of history is what you missed. No, that's true. That's right. Was, I had a great time uh, getting in Chib's helicopter, almost throwing up from motion sickness, flying around aimlessly for eight minutes, getting shot down with an RPG, and then doing it all again for two hours straight. I, I think we did it wrong. I think we did it wrong. No, I think Ryan did it wrong, because I had the time of my life. <laughs> it's fun. You know what would be a fun Olympic event? Huh. Um, a THC tolerance test. <laughs> <laughs> so, like... You take like um, a like a ten milligram edible oh, dude. every ten minutes, and if oh you God. ever laugh at a black and white picture of Teddy Roosevelt, you're eliminated. <laughs> I'm lasting. Fuck, I'm out. I'm lasting over an hour. I've seen Justin consume like 150 milligrams. That is true. He's fine, man. I don't even what think if, I would get the first it one in my mouth. No, should, yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> combine it with the slapping contest. <laughs> in between slaps, you gotta up. eat like a whole uh, weed brownie. But like, don't swallow it. So, so when they slap you, you go and the brownie squirts out. <laughs> the thing is, the the first like 40 minutes of that is going to be crazy because no one's going to be high and they're just going to be slapping the shit out of yeah. each other. And then 40 minutes in, everyone's going to start like dying. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Which is awesome. <laughs> the turn of phrase, the brownie squirts out, might be one of the worst things we've ever heard. <laughs> You'd rather yeah, yeah, my pen. cream out of my mouth or whatever. <laughs> <laughs> 
Oh, Fuck. Oh, that's going to the moon. Oh, no. no way that's not going to I the moon. I can't get the 35 today. Just can't do it. Oh, baby. <clears throat> Hold me a near tutorial the way I just got mooned. Oh, gross. I didn't see that one. Thanks. Thanks for that you one. You shouldn't watch it. You shouldn't watch it. What? It's just the guy's butthole. There's a video going around of a guy doing a near tutorial, and in the first four seconds, you see his hairy butthole. Which is that's fine. The hairy butthole is fine. Flesh, man. It's just flesh. He goes like, "This is how hairy my butt is right now," and just like, games the camera. <laughs> yeah. It's on YouTube, man. <laughs> what you see his butthole? Yeah, multiple yeah, times. A... How? It's for science. That's though. so funny. Because it's educational. So it's <laughs> Wait, what is apparently. he educating on? Like what a butthole looks like? How to how use to nair. Get the hair off your butthole. <laughs> nair. Oh. Are you not oh. supposed to use that down there? Down there? <laughs> yeah, I thought so. I think there's like butthole nair. A, a butt nair? Oh, you're talking about um, King DDD in Smash 4. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. What? What? Oh, <laughs> what? Man. One last look nice. Success for Chad right. loved that one, dude. They loved it. Who matters more to you, Chad or your friends? My friends. It's true. Aww. Oh. So Chad. would you trade all of them for us? <laughs> I would trade I would trade your attention for their attention, but I would trade their lives for your lives. That's annoying. Okay. I see. <laughs> Very pragmatic. Stroke for stroke, she's striving for glory. True. Your mom at prom. <laughs> wow. Wow. <laughs> Sorry. Why are you why are you always fucking our mom? This is like a harmless joke. Because his mom keeps turning him down. <laughs> My mom won't. <laughs> <laughs> Gross. You got me. You got me good. Good choice, though, honestly. Oh, how would you know? <laughs> Mouth would Why, know. Your mom, how would your you mom know? only says yes to me? Is that what you're What you're, the fuck is happening in this laggy ass game? I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, it's the lag, man. Frick. Dude, Wait, I got practice. third, but I finished like fourth? Okay. And my screen Corey oh, yeah, finished I, first, I think. So, so did I? Yeah. I'm not even lying. I'm not even trying to just be like a dumb dickhead here. My shit just looks perfect. Same. Well, Ryan, Ryan, we know why yours is. I'm on Wi-Fi. Yeah, but you're the host. Uh, your mom yeah. was hosted me last night. <laughs> Dude, my mom is, is like in her 80s. Really? <laughs> no, she's in her 70s. <laughs> you have me going. Still a baddie, though. I didn't say it. Chad said it. <laughs> Does your mom bake? Not really. Y yes. Fuck, yeah. No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she does. Uh, Why don't you tell us about your. What about you, Ryan? She baked? Man, dude, she does I want my parents. She doesn't really bake. She she does a lot of meal prep. Oh, hell yeah. Hell yeah. <laughs> How does it feel, bro? I'm so I'm so turned on by that. Oh, I didn't say turned on. I just like a like a dessert square <laughs> now and then. Hey, I, I want my square. parents to come to Vancouver so I can get them high. They could walk. I knew it. They, they could, could walk. walk. Yeah. They probably would die. I don't know if they're old. My dad could handle it. My dad did just get a hip replacement. Might be good for him to walk a little bit. A little bit. Just yeah. kidding. I hope he's doing well. I hear that's a horrible surgery that it leaves you with a walking problems for the rest of your life. Dude, it seems like insane compared to what it used to be. They got new tech on the hip replacement. Yeah, yeah it's, like, it's, mu like it's much Lego. less bad. Now. Sorry. It's kind of like bone Lego, right? Don't you just pop the old one out and then? Well, you cut the <laughs> you cut the head of the femur off and like, you know. I could have made a your mom joke there, but I don't even want to, dude. dude like it plus just your mom bakes. Oh Ryan's my God. mom cut the, the head of my femur off. She Fuck did? Ryan. What the yeah. fuck? You should call the police. Oh, no, 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 no. Yeah. This is good. Oh. I like it. <clears throat> I sneaky first. I Something I about choke. mom sucking the chrome off a of femur. What? What, what the <laughs> fuck is this? This is like getting so violent.
We're, we're all adults, isn't it? We were just horny before. Now we're getting violent. Every time I talk about stocks and bonds, everyone's like, "Shut up, shut up." Then I'm like, "Oh, the, the head of my penis Dude. recedes into my foreskin." Sometimes people are like, "Shut up, shut up." <laughs> I can't say anything. You're so proud of me. I've started allocating a percentage of my pay to investing, bro. Good, that's so great, Jimmy. Just in time, the S&P 500 only rose uh, 31% from its lows by the time you got it set up. Way to go, Chibli. No, way no, to dude. Go. I, I've been doing that for like months. Oh, okay. I was, I was told, on the wave. I was told it was a great time to invest all of my money into Tesla. Mm, well, this, I have no comment Well, everybody's that. adopting their standard charging standard. I'm investing in myself. That's great. Thank how, you. how many milligrams have you invested today? I don't know why, but like whenever I say off stream, I'm like a normal guy. No one believes me, man. I hear you. <laughs> yeah. Everyone's like, no way you like have conversations. And I'm like, I do. I like go outside and yeah, I like order guy. coffees and stuff. He's always talking about his ex-wife. Before no, you man. Down to earth. Before you order oh, the coffee, okay. do you say um? Like when they say, "What can I get you?" Do you go um? I'll... No, 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 no. I ordered a, I ordered a whole two coffees and two meals just today. Not a single um. Wow, Damn. that's psychotic. It's a genius idea, though. When someone have a menu item called um, and it's like an automatic thing. It's like a little <laughs> yeah, like twenty-five bucks. cent little candy. <laughs> And then when people say, um, and then you put it on the counter and they're like, oh, all right, I guess, oh, you know, man. we got a bowl of, um, 99.99. <laughs> so good. And then and make London's... it like on the menu, like really small, really small text. <laughs> so no one can even see it. London's really flying by today, man. Why do we play two hours of it, though? It's just the way it is, man. Why is the sky blue? It's why I don't always play it, because I can, like, an hour is the sweet spot. <clears throat> oh, no. Damn, Justin. <laughs> let's go, let's go. I did that on purpose to look cool. Sand lights on fire, turns into glass for the next guy. You guys think the devil's real? No. Yeah, real chill. Yeah, his name is George Bush. <laughs> Oh, no. <laughs> oh, we're not ready for that one, huh? Too soon. Did you say too George, soon. Too soon. George W? That's Did you see the picture circulating Sorry, of George Bush posting just a picture of some, like, tall building? I did, yes. Uh, <laughs> oh, retweeting oh, yeah. it with, like, do it, George, do it. Oh, I did. Yes, I did see that. It wasn't just a tall building. That was the Trump Tower in Las Vegas. Yes. yes oh, yes. yeah, yeah. I didn't get it. Because mm, he did, it was an explain inside it. job. I'm not he said conspiracy theory. <laughs> I Look, was just trying to set someone up for disaster. I'm sorry. Here's what you're going to do. Oh, you're going to go to Google Video and you're going to type in loose change. Now, I'm not saying <laughs> that I believe it. I'm just saying they make an interesting case. Oh, uh, a fellow researcher, I see. <laughs> yeah, he did his own research. I'm so fucked up. I'm so sad. <laughs> you think humans. At some point in evolution, ever purred when they were happy? Like dogs. <laughs> Not yet. Out of me. Yeah, now, buddy. Not yet. <laughs> like we're, we're like kind of getting close to it, actually. If you think about it, like we're the closest we ever have been to purring. How do you yeah, know that? We, Charles Darwin. We learn it from cats. Because like more people are purring now than ever. You think so? Oh, wait, this is women's. Oh, what are you gonna do now that you know it's women's high jump, Corey? I'm gonna go even higher. Oh, okay. Based, 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 based. Talk your shit. The only thing I know about Back to the Future 3 is that image where like the dude is pointing to his dick and then that was in like all the clickbait that was like 10 insane scenes you never noticed from your favorite movies and then it turns out like it's just a way for actors to tell the producer they need to go pee. Wow. Because ah. I'm not allowed to talk. Well, they would ruin the shot. So instead, they just point at their penis. <laughs> 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 That's an idea while I'm streaming. <laughs> just points at his dick. Yeah, I just start pointing at it if I got to pee. And then Corey's mom is like, I know, I know. <laughs> wow. Dude, wow. You can't, wow. You can't involve... You can't... What? Did she, she bring she's, you she's a got that camera square. angle? She thought you were pointing to your stomach. 
very, very tight at the top. Because your penis is so mm. big. Wait, so. why does Ryan have a one and we have a two? <laughs> what the fuck? Wait, yeah. You know what the back of your head looks like? Yep. Yeah, I've seen it on... Like anytime I turn oh, you guys my head fucked. to the camera, so by the back of my head is on camera, <laughs> there's like 17 people take a clip of it. I can see like the spike in the, Wait. In the highlight. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know what I, I love? You can tell looking at your thumbnails when you moved because the lighting yeah, is yeah, just yeah. ever yeah. so slightly different. Yeah, it's sure. awesome. I love it. There was you should a get some nano pads too, or man. whatever the fuck they're called. We got the leaf. Yeah, the Key light? Now. The nano, nano light wall mount. Nano leaf? Yeah. Nano, nano leaf. leaf. You should get some nano leafs, man. And like nano put all box. your Twitch merch in the background. I threw a lot of it out. Well, I donated a lot of it. Wow. When we moved. Dude, okay. there's someone out there. Furry, furry oh, shit, dude, I gotta slip. go to the, I gotta go to the downtown Vancouver Value Village, man. <laughs> it didn't take it to the Value Village, okay? I took, it, I, some I took it to the Salvation Army on, uh, uh, mm. uh the uh, it's I think it's on 16th. Oh man, I don't want to. Someone's go there. gonna go buy a Panda me. hoodie and be so happy. Somebody's walking out there with the PUBG Acquiesce hoodie made of like one ply cotton threads. <laughs> I think I got rid of mine too, yeah. Pristine condition, no less. Yeah, you guys you done already? You can't wear it because. Uh, well, I'm no longer sucked. a PUBG partner. Well, there, there is that. It would be false advertising. True. Oh, that's bad. I'm in the I'm in the the dead zone. Oh. Welcome to the dead zone. Well, Bova's just kind of made himself at home in my arms while I'm trying to do this. Aww. It's very cute, but it's difficult. Ghibli. Shut up. I'm fighting hard to challenge Big Ben. <laughs> Fuck you guys! I'm oh! so close this time! No! I no! did a PB again! I, I found another level in my game. As soon as I realized this guy wasn't Ooh, talking. I had a PB. When I'm... I said I gave it to the Salvation Army and Chibli didn't say, excuse me, the Salvation Army is uh, anti LGBTQ, I, I knew that I knew I that he it. was all in. I thought I was gonna say something and I was like, I gotta focus up, man. You read me like a book. <laughs> so true. Atomic bomb versus atomic bomb. Oh, Everyone Oppenheimer. Else. Oppenheimer, dude. I, did you guys see the script leak of Oppenheimer? No. no. Because Joss Whedon originally wrote the, the screenplay. It's, and I quote, Richard Feynman. <clears throat> um, get in here, guys. You're going to want to see this. Enrico Fermi. What is it, Richard? Did you get another stripper pregnant? No. Even worse. I think I just invented the nuclear bomb. <laughs> I don't know. I and your still. score is only like point oh, like six less. Yeah. yeah. Seven. Like it doesn't make any sense. This motherfucker does not know math. It's point point oh seven. That Sorry. motherfucker <laughs> back there is not real. Why is my guy so pumped up? He did like six out of eight. <laughs> dude, who's gonna win? The dude who opened the door, or the lady saying that dude's not real? Who wins the the crazy plane battle? <laughs> oh man, the dude who opened the door is still funnier to me. Just the two I, guys looking at each other. I don't know the dude who opened other. the door. Okay, so what happened is he opened the door on the plane as it was flying. That's it. Oh, that dude. Okay, never mind. And then the That's two dudes bad. sitting in the exit row were just like, <laughs> I, I love the people sitting. It's the best part. They're just sitting there looking at it like, oh, guys, what something ain't right. <laughs> Justin, no, redemption. Right. No, don't say that. That's the thing. Is like, what are they gonna do? But like, like you can't do anything. But like, what are they doing? Yeah, because you know they were thinking like, if I take my belt off, that's gonna <laughs> suck me straight out the door. Even though like Ooh. that wasn't gonna happen, they were probably thinking it. Oh, I missed one. What the hell? I'm gonna hell. <laughs> what the hell? Me, me trying to fight the intrusive thought to undo my partner's belt. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Oh, I want to get drunk at a baseball game. It seems fun. It's the only it game, is. Is, yeah, it is. honestly. Yeah. 
Uh, you, get, you get you uh, get like two foot long hot dogs on a on a, well, a bun. He's right. That's my favorite way to eat a hot dog. <laughs> You're uh, Malph, You love like foot long things. <laughs> well, listen. <laughs> he gets it from his mother. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, what are you gonna do? Yeah, she Ryan, she was complaining to me. She said I need to get new friends. <laughs> I don't get it. Oh <laughs> she likes foot long. Can I tell you speaking of foot longs? Well, last week under duress I went to Subway. Oh, they no. changed the menu <laughs> entirely, so it's not even like the subway menu that was already shitty. Now it's new shitty sandwiches. I said Oh yeah, oh, the boss. I said, okay, I'm gonna take the kicking chicken. I, I thought it would be it was like breaded chicken cutlets on a bun. As soon as she starts making it, I look up at the menu. Motherfucker's 1,260 calories. Okay, I'm not going to tell her to oh, stop. Yeah. Whatever. Uh -huh. and, you want so, bang for buck? I don't want bang for buck. I want to yes, I want to live, I wanna live longer on planet Earth. <laughs> we're, not, we're not 22 anymore. So I, 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 that's step one, is that it's horrible for you. And then um, I paid for it, and it came to $18, which is just like criminal. And then I ate it, and I was like, at least it's a fried chicken sandwich. How bad could it be? It's one of the worst sandwiches I've ever eaten in my entire life. Oof. It was the oh, try, the, uh, an already shitty restaurant became irredeemably shittier. I, I couldn't believe how far it had fallen when I thought there was nowhere else to go. I'm telling you, that's part of their brand is the refresh. They're, they're purposely crappy. So that they can make more commercials, like we changed our menu again. Dude, that's a a great uh, sketch idea. I know. Keep but making I can't. if making your restaurant better is unsustainable, but you can always make it a little worse. Mm hmm And then make it a little bit better again. People love change. Let's go. No, Oof. I was so close. God damn. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Subway. Uh, Subway. I just got a steam event or yeah, steam you, steam achievement. I haven't had it in a long time, and every now and again I'll be like, damn, I wish I could have that shitty-ass meatball sandwich. But, like, I don't give it to If you impulse. are going to Subway, that's what you get. You can't that's get it you anymore. Get. It's yeah. you, gotta, you gotta make a special order of it. You gotta buy something. You gotta buy the Sicilian Godfather. Wait. Oh, no. So you don't pick what, what you want fuck? anymore? You gotta fucking, like, menu item it? So this is a hotly contested issue in the Subway community right now. <laughs> when you order a new signature sandwich, you're not supposed to, according to corporate, you're not supposed to Absolutely. ask them to customize it at the end because it has customization built in on the menu. But most Subway workers still choose to ask people what they want on it because otherwise people who order the sandwiches get confused, which is completely mm -hmm. fair because every other time you've ever been to Subway, they ask, what do you want on it? Yeah. yeah. God, Subway Firehouse, so baby. I'm telling you, they've, they've, they're dead. They're, they've never, no company on earth has ever been more cooked except maybe Ocean Gate and probably Twitter. But that one's going to take a while. <laughs> Oh, you gotta get the get, firehouse. Do y'all just like let go to let the thing charge back up? Like, I don't think I ever stopped tapping. My I let go and I come way. first all the time. He really does win all the time now. Because if I'm I try sure. to push to take out Chibli, if I don't take out Chibli, I go to last. But if I just stay here gonna, and just yeah. fight off Corey, I'm guaranteed the silver. Ryan, do you want to win? Is that what you want? Do you want to win? Who is this blocking me the last forever? Today's, today's the, the Gastown Grand Prix. You should go. No! Mm, Ryan, right. go, man. Go. <laughs> you doomed me. I already, bur I already burned up my legs on the 45-minute Alley Love <laughs> Soft Rock ride. You're not playing. You don't, you don't ride and you watch it. Oh, let's watch someone ride a bike. Yeah, you can see how fast they go. Yeah, it's pretty, not that fast, I imagine. <laughs> it's Gas Town. They probably gotta dodge some stuff. They they clear the streets. It's not like amongst the cars. <laughs> uh, this, excuse Gosh. me, Corey. Most of Gas Town is car free now. Uh, what? <sighs> I love the ironing. I was just there. There were tons of cars. What the fuck are you talking about? You, were you at West Cordova? I was on Water Street. Oh, not Water Street. I was talking about West Cordova. Yeah, sure. You could probably still drive a car on Water Street. I was talking about West Cordova. <laughs> so true. Water Street is for boats. <laughs> you were, you're the dancers in the damn ocean, brother. Did you say for boats or bozos? For boats. Ryan is shut up. That's how, yeah, that's how I know really he's Well, Ryan's I was talking joking. through the first half of the the run. So I should get a free extra second of non-penalty. 
Ah! I was first to finish. Yes! He cooked me! Finally, he cooked me! Man. But it's like, not Dude, even, got, you didn't even lay down a competitive score, and I didn't even do that good, bro. It's I got my third PB today, man. What the fuck? <laughs> Holy God, Corey's knocking on the door, too. I didn't hit anything. Dude, I didn't even PB with that. What the hell? I used to be, like, juiced. Oh, oh my God. God. Good game. Good game. GG, y'all. We made it two hours of GGs. We did. <clears throat> It was a good, it was a perfect, beautiful little two hours. You can always tell someone's mood when London is over by the speed at which they remove themselves <laughs> from the lobby. <laughs> what? No, I had a good time. Okay. See ya, see ya fuckers time, in like a month. Okay. Oh, like a month. Hi, Corey. See you later, yeah. man. What are you doing? I do more tours, but it's like they're half days in the afternoon. Oh, oh shucks. Uh, yeah, yeah. I'll be downtown sweating my ass off on the sky train and find they, me there. Wait, when you're down there on Water Street, why don't you take a, a right and go to West Cordoba? Tell me how many cars you see. I'll, uh, I'll let you know. All right, take a take a picture. Oh Bring God, it, it's, a, a, it's a clicker a, thingy it's, too. It's a man's asshole and a crack pipe. Oh my yeah, God, it's a why are you crazy look? Down there. Oh, I thought you were watching the near tutorial. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> He's Wednesday, huh? Call today, Adams. The way it's Wednesday. You grew up in Kingston. You never took a trip to Bon Echo or Gould Lake. Listen, I picked Micah up at Gould Lake, okay? I've, take, I've picked leeches off of my legs at Gould Lake. I've never been to Bon Echo, though. Really? No, I was just trying to come up with some stuff that you would do at Gould Lake. I have been there. They do have a lot of Micah. Anyway, Kate is ready to stream. She keeps calling me out because of the fact that I send the same message every day that says, hello, are you ready to stream smiley face? But then today I didn't send a smiley face and she said no smiley today. So then I just sent a smiley face by itself. Very self-conscious. All right, have a good day later. You know what's really funny? So yes, like Ryan was like, our ethernet cable does not work. And I plugged my, mine does not work either. And I was like, all right, I'm going to get my laptop and I'm going to like plug into every Ethernet cable port, like wall outlet in the house and see if it if all of them don't work. And then um, actually the one in the living room worked and the one in Luna's room worked. So it's kind of funny how only two places of the wall plug works and literally everywhere else it does not work. And I was like, okay, this is like a problem. Probably have to do, probably have to something, something wrong with wiring or something like that. And so I, I got into like technical problem, customer service and kind of trying to get it sorted out. But they could, they need to send a technician. Well, I told them that they need to send technician for it because I don't think they could just do it by setting the modem like on and off like 10 times. I was like, don't worry, Ryan. I mean, like, you were able to stream yesterday. You didn't really drop any frames. And, I mean, you you rarely play any games online anyway. So it doesn't matter. Like, you just play, like, uh, you know, like, what is the, the time guesser, geo guesser. It's just, like, you don't really play, like, competitive online games. So you, you shouldn't, it shouldn't matter to you. And then guess what? My dude goes, like... Um, today's docket, I'm going to play this, uh, baseball online matchup and then, uh, London 2020, <laughs> maybe not 2020, but London 20, whatever. And I was, I was like, buddy, what the hell, dude, you never play online competitive games and legit today, the whole docket was online competitive game. Like, like he just plays, you know, Isaac. You know, like offline games all the time, you know, I'm just like, I, I felt like I was raising a, 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 like a son. I'm like, is this the feeling that like, is it like when you're raising a son, you know, you just like, don't do that. I mean, like, you don't already do that anymore. So like, you don't have to worry about it. And then like, they just like do it. They just like, well, I'm going to prove you wrong. And then they just do it and then make you just like pissed. I was like, I was like, bro, I hope he's not going to play the freaking Super Baseball League or whatever tomorrow again, because I'm going to lose my mind. Me remember when our like in the previous house, 
internet worked perfectly fine no like it was fiber i mean like this one's fiber too it's just like the wire connection is like effed up literally what a, a week before our move he legit just played final fantasy 16 and i'm just like bro you could have just played final fantasy 16 offline game sure like you can enable the online mode but you're not like online competing like there's like the if your if your ping goes up and down it doesn't matter you know what i mean and i'm just like my dude has been playing offline games non-competitive games and even the baseball game didn't he like rage quit that didn't he just like oh this game sucks or something and then he just like sent it and never played it ever again and then the the literally the day that i said uh don't worry about it you don't even play online competitive game he goes like um how about this and then he literally plays the game that he quit i'm like i'm like i was losing my mind i was losing my mind dude he could have played uh only up or something like he didn't finish only up right he could have played only up there's so many like games that he has not finished he finished it god damn it either way there's so many like offline games you know what i mean so i'm just like you don't have to worry about it dude and then my dude just goes like um online mode only dude if i were him i'd be like okay i just need to wait out until next week to get things sorted so let me just play online games or like offline games that i meant to play because like it's just wednesday already right so it's like wednesday thursday like today tomorrow and that's it like friday we go camping and then uh maybe like monday i guess like technician might not come on monday but like you know what i mean it's gonna get solved pretty dang soon so it's just like just hold on hold on and then just play some offline games his chat hates anything that has a story i think there are games without stories a lot a lot i don't know i think i think his chat today was like such an ass to today's his chat was ass i remember like what was it he was talking about how he was playing super smash bros when he was 10 and then he said he was like using items and then someone in chat was like bro i you're so toxic i cannot believe you're using items and i'm like and then ryan goes like bro that was when i was 10 years old and it was like offline it wasn't even online there was no such a thing as online match back then i could have believe someone just like hears something and then they just go like wow that's so toxic of you where's the joller type joller type in chat please joller type in chat i'm like oh that's so toxic so, so toxic i i don't i don't, remember the time when i played super smash bros like 12 uh, 11 years ago and then ryan just kicked my ass and i was like you suck ryan you said you are not good at this game and like i legit has have never played this game before and you're just kicking my ass and every time he killed me he was laughing he was so toxic and i was like so mad and i said fuck you fuck you fuck you and then chet was like wow kate is so toxic i'm like are you kidding me this guy lied to me he said he is not good at this game and here i am legit first time picking this game up and he's just kicking my ass that's freaking terrible it's like same thing ryan also does the same thing he goes like uh you're what was it i was like do you know how to play chess and then he was like i think i'm okay at chess and i was like oh are you are you good are you good at chess and he's like no nah, i know how to play chess and i was like oh, okay i know how to play chess too and then he's like oh, okay i was like do you know how to play chess be careful i'm pretty good and then he's like oh, okay he just like checkmate at me in like turn 10 and i was like I was like so angry. I wanted to flip the table. I was like, bro, like when I said I'm good, I meant like I know it as a board game good, not like um local champion. And then after he wins, he goes like, oh, winning feels good. By the way, I was a local champion when I was like 12 and I read books about openers like openings and stuff and I was like are you kidding me bro I just like I just know what the pieces do that's it and and you say you're like you know the rules that's it bro you gotta you gotta tell me that you're like good at something instead of like oh I just know the rule I was like 
to freak it i i did punch ryan though i, was, I did punch him <laughs> and then i i forgot what it was we were like either i, I don't know what we were talking about we we're talking about something and then it wasn't about ryan i was just like in my high school there was a girl and she always says like she's bad at something like she was very typical asian you know how like oh my gosh i failed the test i failed the test oh, wah, 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 wah. and i'm like oh no like i didn't fail the test i got b how bad did you do and then she's like oh i got 98 percent when i failed i'm like what the fuck you did better than me that's not a fail bro that's like literally one question away from perfect how's that a fail i got b brother and then she was like oh but it's not perfect i could have gotten perfect it's so fail and i was like i hate this kind of personality like they can go fuck themselves i hate that so much and then ryan goes like oh yeah i hate that kind of personality too like you know if they're if they're just like if they get 98 percent, just tell say them like you did a you did a good job like why do you have to say you, you failed it? and i was like oh look who's talking brother <laughs> you do that and then ryan's like no i don't do that i don't do that and i'm like yes you do you do that dude you say you're not good at chess and guess what you were like a local champion oh 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 <laughs> you said yo i'm not good at super smash bros oh i never played it and then he goes like actually i have a four thousand drunken hours in this game who have four thousand hours not so good i'm just like this this guy legit like that's who he is and he goes like i don't like a personality like that I'm like that's you <laughs> that's you but he's like nah it's different that's different and I'm like, that's not different. That's the same. It's the same. <laughs> I was, I was, I was so angry. <laughs> but I'm sure you guys all felt that, right? If you if you had those kind of friends, especially like Asian friends, am I right? Well, freaking all the Asian goes like, I fucking fail. I fucking failed. And then you go like, oh, it's okay, brother. I got C plus. I did like, you know, how bad did you do? And then they go like, I got ninety eight percent. It's like. <laughs> Do you, in, in, how do you like cheer them up? You go, you were like, oh, well, I got 65%. At least you got like 90 for 95%. You didn't fail, brother. Just like cheer up. So I just like, I just, I just walk away. I cannot do it. Cheer them up by leaving them alone. <laughs> I want to do like disgusted face. I'm just like, oh, that must be so hard for you. Getting 90 95% in a test such a fail wow <laughs> oh hated i hated all those people i hated all those people so much especially in high school because high school like all, every every percentage mattered because like it, it goes towards to the what's it the acceptance for university so it's like everyone is very sensitive about other people's marks and like i legit I, I don't know any white people, but like all the Asian people did it. They all went like, oh, I fucking failed. Don't even ask me. I'm so fucking depressed. And then people go like, oh, here, let me cheer you up. How bad? How bad could it be? I mean, you were so smart. You studied. And then they always, oh, also they always go like, I never studied. Oh my gosh. I was so busy doing this, doing that. I just like actually overslept. I never studied. And then they're the one who's getting like 100%. Blah! and then like i'm the one who has been studying and i get like 70 percent. i'm just like bro i studied stayed up late studying i get 70 percent. you go like oh, i didn't study oh my gosh i didn't know today was a test day and then they get 100 percent. i'm so pissed life is not fair i have never felt so angry <laughs> angry <laughs> did you know that fauna is coming to vancouver at anime revolution did you know that i was one of the first customer for anime revolution the first ever anime revolution happened at sfu when i was in middle school and i was like poggy finally vancouver is getting some anime loving and then me and my friend we were like let's go so we went and then I almost shed a tear seeing like other cosplayers and I'm like, this is amazing. Back then, anime wasn't like this like huge, right? 
So I'm just like, I'm seeing so many Naruto's, like, Bleach characters. And I'm like, oh my god, this is so cool. This is so cool. All my people. And then, um, the, there was, because it was the first ever, like, anime convention that ever happened. There was, like, nothing. I mean, it's not their fault for having nothing. They were, like, maybe 20 artist booth. They were, like, selling keychains. But that was it. And I was like, I expected like, you know, like the LA anime conventions or whatever, you know, like the, like, 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 you know, like the, the big ones, like you thought, like, I thought they would be like the voice actors or whatever, you know, I thought it would be like something cool, but like legit, they were like 20 vendor, 20 vendors and, and you were able to see all of them in like 30 minutes. <laughs> yeah, you just like, and then like they weren't like huge either. It was just like really small. Like they were just selling keychains, and I was like, like this is cool and everything, but like where is everybody? <laughs> where is everybody? It's just me and my friend, and there was nobody. And then um, and then Ryan and I we went to Anime Revolution, like. 2015 I think I think it was 2015 or something like that 2016 we went to anime revolution it was in the convention center Vancouver convention center and I was like oh this little baby thing grew up and now it's renting in Vancouver convention center oh and then Ryan hated it he said, this thing is the most scam shit ever. And I was like, what's wrong? What's wrong? And then Ryan's like, so you pay $50 for the entrance fee. You don't get anything. And then you go in and there's nothing but like vendors. So like you're spending money to get a permission to like buy stuff. Like, what is this? This is messed up. It's not like you're spending $50 and then you go in and then you can just get whatever that's inside. You pay $50 to browse what other people are selling and then you can spend extra money to buy other stuff. Like the entrance fee should be waived. Like it should be just free. Like this shit is bullshit. And then Ryan was like so upset. And then I was like, oh, this is so cute. I want this. And then Ryan's like, what is this? It was like, it was a cup. And I'm like, this cup is so cute. It was the Panda Cafe. I don't know if anyone knows Panda Cafe. It was, it's a pretty chill anime. And then um, I got the Panda Cafe mug. It was like $12 or something. And then Ryan was like, that's way too expensive. <laughs> I'm like, but it's cute. And I remember I tweeted it. Like I took photos of things that I got. And then I was like, Woohoo, I've I just uh went to the anime revolution and this are like these are the swags that I got and I took a photo, tweeted it. And then um but Ryan was like I remember like he was pretty not happy about it because like first of all he went in because I wanted to go, but then he didn't know anything and he didn't want to know anything and he does not like anime. He does he hates like weebs. <laughs> and he was surrounded with weaves and cosplayers and they're like doing like anime shit dance and he was like this is too much for me and then like i remember i wanted to browse more i wanted to buy more but ryan was after like an hour and a half ryan was like like i gotta go like i don't want to be here anymore like are you done i don't want to be here anymore and i was like but you don't want to stay a bit longer. I want to see more stuff. And he's like, no, this shit is just so bad. I want to get out. <laughs> I was like, okay. Because <laughs> he was like, at least at PAX, like East or West or whatever. Yes, you buy the ticket. But then when you go inside, you play like games for free. Sure, you have to line up. But like you play games for free. Sometimes you get swags for free just by playing games like pins and stuff like that. And like, you know what I mean? Like you get things out of it. But then Anime Revolution was like nothing. Like you don't get anything out of it. 
And then like they force you to, they basically force you to eat the convention center food. And then it was like $12 a hot dog. And then Ryan's like, this shit is like bad. It's just the, it's just the hot dog. And that shit is $12. He, and he was hungry too. He was hungry. And I was like, Ryan, look there. They have like, they're selling hot dogs. You can eat hot dogs there. And he's like, there's no way in this world I'm paying $12 for a hot dog. I'm just going to starve. This is bad. <laughs> I was like, well, you don't have to be so negative. I don't think, I, and ever since then, I don't think I am allowed. Well, I am allowed to go to anime conventions or whatever. But like, I'm not allowed to bring Ryan. Or, or he's going to be super angry at me. He's going to be like pissed. He's like, this just sucks. And then he do be saying, like, everyone here stinks. And then he was like, I thought PAX West's crowd was bad. But, like, oh my gosh. This, like, anime convention might actually be so much worse. And he was keep pointing out things that was bad. And I was like, Ryan, just, like, stop. <laughs> and he's like, I'm not trying. I'm not trying. But, like, literally every guy... Every anyone who has passed me, they have not showered for a month, and this is like way too stinky. I can't. They just gotta give them like free soap or something. And I was like, oh man. I was there, like, try not to breathe so much. <laughs> and Ryan was like, are you telling me try not to breathe? Are you telling me to just like suffocate? <laughs> oh. And then it was so awkward because like I met. Um, like we were in line to buy something and then the guy who was like the uh, like line what what's it like volunteer like like a line police you know like the people go like line starts this way kind of thing um that guy was he knew us he's like oh my god no the lion and i was like i was freaking out because he was my ex-boyfriend's cousin but like we hung out all the time. So I was like, oh, this is awkward. <laughs> well, this is awkward. And then and then he goes like, oh, like we watch your stuff. We're a huge fan or something like that. And I was like, oh, we gotta go. We gotta go. And then Ryan was like, what's wrong? I'm like, I will tell you a little bit later. <laughs> I'm like, he's the, he's the cousin of my, my ex-boyfriend. It's so awkward because he... He called me out every time whenever we play Call of Duty because, like, I I sucked at Call of Duty when I first started. And then he he said, like, to my ex-boyfriend, like, don't play with Kate because Kate sucks and Kate is bringing the whole team down. But then I wanted to play Call of Duty with my, my ex-boyfriend. So I was, like, I was crying. I was like, oh, but I want to play the game. Don't leave me behind. Today he said he's only gonna go to another Miku concert if you really want him to come along. The only reason I brought Ryan to Hatsune Miku concert in Seattle was because back then, like, it was just, like, me and Ryan. And I wasn't gonna leave Ryan back home and myself driving down to Seattle by myself. I was like, you know, let's go to Seattle together and then we can go to the concert. And then Ryan was like, sure. And then there was going to be Hatsune Miku concert in Vancouver, but the COVID happened in uh, 2020. And then they pushed it to 2021. And even then, the COVID was still going on. So they just canceled it and then refunded the ticket. And I cried because I bought the Miku towel. I bought the Miku. I still have my Miku, um, like the baton. Like like the the glow up stick thing, and then I also like I I had the Hatsune Miku happy like the the clothing like the the the, the what was it like you it's like a it's not a coat but it's it's happy I don't know how to describe it. it's like a Japanese thing like you would see otaku otaku's wearing it in like concerts and stuff like I got everything set I was like ready to be the number one fan. In the Vancouver concert. And then I said, Ryan, you're coming with me. And then Ryan said, like, here we go. And then, like, like months before, I was playing Hatsune Miku songs in the car. So that he 
will recognize the songs in the concert. But then the concert got canceled and I was like, no. And I was like, wait, I don't even know when Miku is going to be here in Vancouver. It probably is never going to happen, dude. It's never going to happen. But like, it was so weird when I went to... Probably it was like, like 2016 or something like that. Um, when we went to Hatsune Miku concert in Seattle. They were like... They were like fans like me, but they they were like fans who just like who were like Ryan. Two bros came to Hatsune Miku concert and they looked confused as fuck. They didn't have anyone who was like leading them to the concert. It was just two of them and they they're just like sitting down like Ryan. Like they just sat down on their chair and they're just kind of like watching it and I'm just like are they like are they like a journalist or something? Like, why are they here? Everyone else, they're standing up. They're they're freaking like, you know, like, woo, like cheering and everything. But then like the two dudes, they're just sitting there and just like watching. It was like, it looked like they were watching a movie or something. And then Ryan was also sitting there just kind of like watching. And I was like, Ryan, was that song so good? Oh my God, the song, that song was so good. And then I was like, yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, that's, that's a, that's a good song. And I'm like, oh, that's my favorite song. That's my favorite song. Ah! And then Ryan was like, uh, that's, that's pretty good. Yep. That's good. And I'm like, why don't you get it? Why don't you get it? It's so good. The song is so good. He just needs to go to more Hatsune Miku concerts and then he will learn. He just doesn't get it yet, but soon he will get it. And once he gets it, then we're gonna be we're gonna be both cheering. I honestly, if it wasn't for Luna, oh my gosh, my room would be full of Miku stuff. I'll be I'll be all over it. I'll be like Miku 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 Miku. But actually, Luna even knows Miku, and Luna even knows that I like Hatsune Miku, and she was like, "Oh hi Miku." I was like, "Yeah, girl, that's my that's my girl." What's stopping you? It's just uh, like she wouldn't realize that my hobby is like niche. And then if she ever brings her friends home and they see like, you know, the friend sees my room and then they describe my room to their parents, they're going to be like, don't play with Luna anymore <laughs> because her mom seems a little weird. <laughs> She's 30 and and she likes this anime and then i'll be like excuse me it's not anime i'm like it looks, it looks anime i'm like it's, 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 it's not anime it's never been an anime that's that's how i get blacklisted encounter my ice block somebody's deck has countered my ice block somebody's trap card has countered my ice block Guess they just countered my ice block. Oh yeah.